what is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest resurrection remix ROM on this device. Yes this ROM was the most popular ROM of the old days and right now it's back with Android 10. Let me show you which build is this as you can see here it says resurrection remix official build based on Android 10 of course and this is the 13th August 2020 build. If you notice the size, it is very small. It's about 688 MB and it does not include the GApps of course. So you have to flash the GApps separately. I have flashed it with the Open GApps Micro GApps version with like the Android 10's ARM64 GApps. But I would recommend you guys going with Nano GApps to avoid any issues. And here, as you can see, we have some change logs. Of course, this is an initial official build. And here we have the ROM based on the MIUI vendor, of course. And it says tons of features, of course. Resection Remix always has been around features. And this is no different. And here we have the firmware requirements and stuff. And if you want to flash this ROM, make sure to watch this particular video from the cards right here. Or you can find it in the description box below too. To flash this ROM, you need to be on the latest Raphael in, in global version 12.0.2 vendor. This is when I'm talking about Indian Redmi K20 Pros, keep in mind. So that's how I flashed it. And I have used Fcrypt as well, of course, because my storage is decrypted. Right now, let me just go to the Android version section over here. And as you can see this on top, we have this Resurrection Remix kind of logo. Well, this is how the dark theme looks like this. I'm just showing you guys. As you can see, this is how the dark theme looks by default. Has kind of a bluish tint over here. I'll just disable the dark theme from now on. And here, as you can see, it looks like this in the Android version. And the Android version is 10, of course, as you can see. And the Resurrection Remix build name we find over here again, 13th August 2020 build. Resurrection Remix OS version is 8.5.7 Q. And the build type is official. And the security patch is latest of August 5th, 2020. Then we have the vendor security patch and stuff. The stock kernel is perf G kernel. Again, we have the build date right here. And if you're noticing this halo kind of effect, it like blurs the whatever is in behind of this section. If you tap on this resurrection remix version over here, and as you can see, it shows this lineage OS icon. So this is pretty much based on lineage OS. Like in old days, it was based on Cyanogen mod. Cyanogen mod practically evolved into lineage OS. So that is why this Resurrection Remix is still based on Lineage OS sources, I guess. Well, I'm not into these kind of Android developments and stuff. I just use custom ROMs because I love them. Now, let me first go into the system settings here. We do have a system updater from where you can check for updates just like this. And of course, in future, there will be updates. So we'll definitely wait for that. Let me go back and here in the gestures. Now, let me go into this gesture navigation. And here, the Android 10's gesture are working fine. But if you notice the pill bar over here on the bottom, let me go into the settings first and you get a hell lot of customization regarding this pill bar. Let me show you, we have the gesture bar size adjustment and also you can adjust the thickness of this bar. So I have put everything to long and thick. This is why it looks like this on the bottom. Pretty dope looking pill bar over here and you have some more customizations that you can see from the screen. And of course, we still have this two and three button navigation in case if you need those. Inside front camera sound effects, you can disable the front camera sound and the front camera LED and stuff is there. Now, let me talk about the stock launcher a little bit. Well, this is the trebuchet launcher present by default. It just like does not work. Let me go over here. As you can see, it four stops. Let me close the app again. Let's go over here. Right now, let's just go home. And as you can see, it keeps stopping. Maybe because I flashed micro G apps, that is why it's happening. But I don't know why the trebuchet launcher simply does not work, at least with the like Android 10's navigation bar. So I have been using with the pixel launcher over here. And the stock camera here is the Cyanogen mod camera or the Lineage OS camera or something. So yeah, this is that kind of camera. Well, I do not find much features with this camera. So I don't really use it, but you guys can use it if you want to. And also I have installed the ANX camera over here and this is working totally fine. Even with portrait mode and stuff, everything is working fine. As you can see, portrait mode is actually working. It's blurring the camera and stuff over here. And let me switch to the back camera. Here again, the portrait mode 
works fine it, you should not worry much about it if you want to flash this anx camera watch this particular video from the card right here or you can find it in the description box below too and also google camera 7 i have installed that and this is working fine again this is the unix version with night set and stuff i have installed this google camera and set it up and it is working totally fine no issues with the google camera but the stock camera over here which is the snapdragon camera or cyanogen mod or lineage os camera this is not that great in my opinion and by default you get also this audio fx over here so this is working totally fine the sound output here headphone jack is really good you should not worry about that now evolution x is all about customizations i know I'm thinking about doing a separate video regarding the customization everything which are present in this restriction tools section there are a hell lot of customizations if I include this in this video this video is gonna be like about 25 minutes for sure so I'm just skipping the customization section for this video so let me just quickly show you the quick settings panel this is how it looks like and as you can see I you can add more toggles from here of course there are plethora of quick toggles over here like pulse disable animation and stuff so a lot of quick toggles that you will find over here but there is no fps info as of right now but as this is an initial build i cannot complain much so that is one thing to like keep in mind now i have added the screen record option over here let me just show you which screen recorder is this this is how the default screen recorder looks like well this is not the oxygen waste kind of screen recorder of course as you can see you can change the bitrate up to 20 mbps then we have the audio source changing option to internal or microphone audio then we have the show touches on screen section so you can enable that and screen recording should be working fine here now let's just jump into the battery section this is how the battery section looks like and in my opinion it can definitely give you above seven plus hours of screen on time easily you can see the screenshots from here the battery life should not be a problem over here on this rom you can definitely get seven to eight hours of screen on time easily with a single charge but fun thing that does disappoint me a little bit that those new features like the battery charging cycle and stuff those things does not appear over here at least as of right now and here we have the temperature showing up on the back of the battery on the bottom and we have the screen on time and stuff then battery saver battery manager thermal profiles everything is there and if you tap on this section it will go into the full battery usage now in the display settings this is how it looks like again these animations do look really really cool over here everywhere and we have this brightness level customization live display is there so color calibration is there rgb control you can do that and the picture adjustment are there so you can control the hue saturation intensity and contrast of the screen so that is pretty great now we do have the night light section and it should work fine then we have the auto or adaptive brightness inside theming we have a customization panel where you get plethora of fonts as you can see you can just scroll through this all day long let me click next and these are the four status bar icons that you can choose and if you hit next okay so it just goes into this accent color picker over here which is in the customization section which i'll show you in the next video and here as you can see you can choose a accent color and choose this accent color picker or something like a gradient color i mean so you can pick a gradient color now i have been using it with the red and blue like color the blue one is the accent color and the red one is the gradient color over here and even in volume panel and stuff you can see this gradient and on the volume panel when you like scroll through this it gives you a little bit of haptic feedback so that feels pretty good and the expansion again is working totally fine you can put the phone into vibrate or silent from here of course let me go back i just showed you just to show the accent color and stuff and we have this clock section so you can customize between these many clocks as you can see even for the lock screen clocks there are plethora of options and inside wallpapers you do not get much you get only these wallpapers they are pretty good as you can see there are like pretty good wallpaper options by default here they look awesome in my opinion you can use them of course if you want to but i have been using with this like sn5 of starship wallpaper so that looks like really sick to me let me go back and here we have the screen timeout section then we have the rotation settings we do have this 180 degree rotation and stuff if you need those then colors is set to boosted by default and here we have the font size display size the full screen apps is there so that you can like force apps to use the full screen real estate let me go back we have the screen saver lock screen display and from here we have the always on display and stuff then we have the double tap to wake pocket detection is there so that's a good thing and the anti flicker or dc dimming mode is still there in the display settings now in the sound settings this is how it looks like again this animation looks really really dope 
and here if you scroll down we do find the me audio direct so that is one really good thing as you can see there is this youth edition i have selected it so the sound output via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well is really amazing on this rom you should not worry about that you can have this sound preset and the hi-fi audio DAC and there is the charging sound and stuff you can enable or disable it or you can enable the vibration and stuff touch vibration etc is there touch sounds etc is there but let me tell you there is no screenshot sound that i am simply not able to find and here i would say if you take a screenshot as you can see it still makes that sound so that is how it is even though my phone is in silent mode it makes the sound so that's how it is and vibrate for calls and stuff is there now let me show you the calling stuff this network and settings this mobile network settings and here let me show you we have the wi-fi calling feature so let me show you the stock dialer first so this is how the stock dialer looks like and again this is how the volume panel you can expand and stuff and here we do have this recording call option so that is really great we do not find the call recording option on the k20 pro in like most roms but here we do have it so that's pretty great and wi-fi calling and volte calling both are working fine you should not worry about them now inside security things get a little bit interesting we do have this fingerprint option and the face unlock option now let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed over here well i have been using it with this resurrection remix icon on the fingerprint scanner like icon let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed now from the lock screen unlocked now i'll try with the lock screen again unlocked now i'll try from the always on display unlocked now i'll try with the left thumb always on display unlocked now let's try with night light turned on let's double tap over here to sleep or like make the phone sleep and as you can see with night light it unlocked from the always on display and with the left thumb night light turned on and again unlocked now i'll try with the night light turned on lock screen and as you can see it is not unlocking for some reason still did not unlock now it did so the film scanner has been working totally fine for me but for some reason right now it's working like weird i don't know why again as you can see it's not like i'm not tapping the film scanner correctly or something let me show you again now it did unlock so the film scanner in my experience i would say like it's good enough you should not worry much about it but yes it's not like too fast or something right now let me just quickly set up the face unlock here and show you if it actually works now let's just double tap on the always on display okay so it does not unlock if i swipe up only then it will unlock let me show it to you guys again and i'm just double tapping to wake and again i swipe up and then only it unlocks with the face unlock okay so there is this option which says swipe to unlock if i disable that let me do it again and right now if i double tap okay so right now it opens up the front camera right away as you can see so yeah you can have both of the like things where you have to swipe up to uh, use the face unlock or you do not have to swipe up to face unlock and you just double tap and it will pop out the front camera and it will unlock the device for you using the face unlock the drm info over here shows as level one and here as you can see the safety net actually fails but i tried to set up my google pay and it did set up fine and i did some couple of payments and it was working totally fine but i don't know why but the safety net test actually fails but google pay for me at least is working fine right now let's just open some of the apps and show you guys the app on of speeds and the ram management here let's open facebook twitter play store instagram google home youtube and right now let's just open all these apps from memory again and as you can see most of the app stays in memory i mean all of that does stay in memory so you should not worry and even the app of speeds and the ram management over here is very fast and smooth you should not worry about those like any problems regarding like stuttering and stuff in this ui still this is a initial build it is holding up really well even with that and here is the android and geekbench score of this rom so that's been it guys thank you so much for watching this video do stay tuned for the customizations video next which i, I will upload 
so that's been it if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel download if you have not yet and let me know in the comments if you are happy with resection remix coming to all the devices like redmi k20 pro note 7 pro and note 5 pro and devices like that that wraps up this video guys this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one happy independence day guys